everyone, this is Rob Roy and welcome to the LA Wave Options US Market Update. Since our last update, the SPY has enjoyed a nice springtime run in the sun up towards that 420 level. Interest rates have backed away from their overextended levels as they should have and Bitcoin looks ready for another big breakout. Let's take a look at the charts. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the market updates before the next trading session opens. At the time of this recording, it is 1.45 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday night slash Friday morning, and currently the futures are up about a point, which is pretty insignificant, except right after the close, we did have a big spike up of about 15 points. We've been kind of working our way down ever since. Still a long time between now and when the market opens tomorrow, however. So here it is, the chart of the SPY, and yep, I brought it back, that big zigzag pattern that we've been talking about for months and months. We just finished our zigzag mastery class for LA Wave Options at EWOTrader.com. Hopefully, if uh, you attended, you found that informative. So in the intro, I mentioned that the markets had, at least the SPY, pretty nice springtime run in the sun up towards that 420 level, which represents the 161.8% extension on the C wave of that zigzag, but are there storm clouds on the horizon? Here's what I mean. You take a look at the charts, you can see once we pass that 400 level and on the 5th of April, we had a little bit of a gap up. And if you've heard any of the uh, recordings that I've done, you know how I feel about gaps. And that's been followed by some pretty small low intraday volatility bars. You factor that in with the fact that when we look at volume, the volume has tapered off on these moves to the upside since then. Now you can make a case for the fact that, well, we were a little bit overbought and we're kind of consolidating that overbought move, meaning there was separation between where the market was and the 10 day moving average. And that's pretty valid. And then we take a look at the DMI. And if you're bullish, this is something that you can hang your hat on. Uh, the ADX is moving to the upside here. It's got to break above 20 though. And it is about to break above that negative directional indicator. There's separation between uh, the two directional indicators. So from the DMI, it's showing some building support for a potential continued trending move higher up towards that 420 level. So where are the storm clouds? Well, let's take a look at another chart of the SPY. Is this an ending diagonal? Classic LA wave pattern, diagonals. Now they can be leading or ending. And how do you know the difference? Well, for one thing, we've had a pretty big run and you can see diagonals subdivide. They can subdivide into five, three, five, three, three, or they can subdivide into three, 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 three. And in that ca this case, that seems to be what's happening. Each one of those waves is divided into a three wave zigzag pattern. And you can see this little red line here uh, representing uh, the move uh, on the C wave after this corrective move in the wave three. That one's the tightest one, but the rest of it is pretty doggone spot on with LA wave diagonal patterns. Now, often an ending diagonal pattern will end with a blow off top, meaning that the wave five can break out of the top end of the diagonal pattern, break above that upper trend line, if you will, which really seems to be what's going on now, especially on lower volume. So the question becomes, can this blow off top make it all the way to 420? We're so close. My opinion, if we are able to make it up to 420 without any sort of a correction, in other words, continue this uh, blow off top type move, I think that sets up a pretty good short time corrective move, a tradable short move, if you will, in the market. So we're nearing a point where you've got to be awfully cautious to the upside. That DMI forming could change things. We'll have to wait and see. Looking at interest rates, also said in the intro that they've uh, uh, stabilized a bit, pulled back, consolidated from their overbought condition. As a reminder, here's the DMI. Look how high the ADX got. And in the last recording, we talked about how strongest part of the move was likely over. And that's exactly what's been going on. Consolidating It's what they should be doing following a big, strong move like that and the ADX getting so high. Same thing occurring on the 30 year. Here's the DMI and the ADX there, very similar as you would expect, both going through consolidations. In fact, we have a pretty nice little triangle forming here in the uh, uh, 30 year following that uh, wave three peak. So looking at the US dollar, 
here's another zigzag uh, right in the wave three peaking out at the 100 percent extension of the c wave and you can see since then we've corrected back down a bit now normally if you're going to have an extended c wave you would correct back to the previous fib level in other words we would have moved back down towards this 61.8 percent fib extension level and then attempted a move up to 161.8 so the fact that we've corrected down all the way to the 38.2 percent extension level would suggest that we are likely about to label the wave four correction in the dollar so there's a forecasted area there uh, we could uh, label it anywhere basically from now because we're pretty close to the top of that tap box anywhere within this area could label the wave four then we'll see if we get another run to the upside in the dollar looking at the metals you've asked about uh, the metals so here's gold something really interesting going on with both silver and gold so you can see we're at a pretty significant point of resistance so just when it looked like the bottom was going to fall out of gold it held held that bottom that it created earlier in march so pretty nice looking double bottom there but now we're at a resistance level if gold can break through that level maybe we have something as far as a continued move to the upside looking at slv also at a point of resistance in silver here right there at the 24 level same thing if we can break above there this one has more of a v bottom however not quite the really nice double bottom that gold has but if we break above 24 we could have something to the upside going on in slv as well so by the way don't forget to hit that like button if you like these videos or better yet hit subscribe and you'll be notified immediately when one of these recordings is posted thank you we appreciate it looking at bitcoin i mentioned in the intro as well on bitcoin that it looked like it was poised for a breakout so here's the zigzag here you can see the c wave ran right up to the 61.8 percent extended level and look at that bam just like hitting a ceiling just stopped it in its tracks came back down so there's the correction to the 38.2 percent level we didn't go further than that so within the c wave of the zigzag you can see that we're forming a triangle and that's what i meant by the fact that bitcoin looked poised to make a breakout now i didn't say which direction and that's because when you form a triangle like this it could break either way we could break to the downside here and that's the end of the wave five it did have a 90 percent extension following a 38.2 percent wave four corrective move so that's already an extended wave five so that could be the end of it uh, so we're forming a corrective triangle following a potential completion of the wave five or we could break to the upside here and bitcoin enjoy a further extended wave five up to the 100 percent level either way following this uh, consolidation from this zigzag pattern bitcoin looks ready to make another directional move last but not least taking a look at the vix it did it it finally did it i've talked about this for how long but we finally came down and closed that gap all the way back from february of last year and now if we spread the chart back out we see what's interesting is on this break to the downside with the vix nice neat little doji there does that mean we're about to increase the volatility in the market that would kind of coincide with what i was talking about as far as these little low volatility bars on low volume and the potential blow off top here uh, in the diagonal pattern again still like to see it go up and hit that 420 level being this close I think that sets up a really nice next trade but the market doesn't always give us exactly what we want it's going to be really interesting to see what happens from here leave us a comment in the comments section interested to know what you think you feel like we're going to continue this blow off top type move make it up to 420 complete that c wave of the extended zigzag or are we due for a correction because we're overextended as suggested by that low vix with the doji hope everybody's doing well look forward to talking again soon Take care, everybody. If you like these recordings, I'd like to invite you to join our new Trade Finder Live, where each and every week we do a live webinar where we talk about the market, but we also go a little more in depth into the technical analysis system that we utilize to forecast where the market's likely going to go, and also to identify trading opportunities. Get your free subscription today. Take care, everybody.